It's Catherine here from Spark Early Years. In some way, I hope this story will help you. Let's talk about the upkeep of learning and development records. What was your experience during your training? Now I'm moving house and I found a black A4 file with what I must say pages of really neat writing in fountain pen. It was my observation folder from college. I remember initially hating observations because the expectation was to do 50. And if you know anything of my story in how I struggled to get into college, then you might have an insight to why. 15, 50, 15 minute observations over the two years was expected. Also, they had to be done across the whole early years age group, babies to seven year olds. Writing everything down the child did in 15 minutes. This was MJ picked up the pencil in his right hand, using the pincer grasp and da 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 da. As I do today, when challenged, I try to change my mindset. So consciously, I changed how I felt from dread to loving observations. Of course, the scribbled notes that had to be rewritten, hence the beautiful presented file. So time consuming, but many learning journals are still rewritten up to date. After each observation, I had to evaluate the child's progress. We all had to buy, and I still have a copy, what I would say is the Bible of development by Mary Sheridan. That's now packed. In the same bag as the black file, there was an A5 notebook. It's covered in garish 1970s original wallpaper with my six week child study about Momo who was four. He'd be in his late forties now. And a two week child study I did on Robert. He was 15 months and there's some lovely photos of him bottom shuffling. I'd love to show you the files and the books, but they're now packed in a box, ready to go. Downsizing I might be, but these are not going in the bin. After each observation, everything was checked against child development, but then nothing, no plan of action. What was the point? I guess the process made observ observing children a habit, but it has been my career that's taught me four things. First, long observations are only necessary to record information regarding well-being which might build into a picture for safeguarding purposes. When trying to discover why a child is demonstrating dysregulation through their behaviour, or when supporting a child with additional needs, to find the right strategy or resource to enable them to access the learning and development process. Two, quick spot and note or shoot and store observations as we call them, set against child development criteria and possibly organised in the EYFS statutory framework way, that is in the areas of learning and development, are sufficient to know how the child is progressing and where help may be required. Three, observations are no good unless they are used to scaffold learning in ways that will suit the child, following their schemes, how they like to learn, and encompass what has been seen about the child's current interests and where in the environment they like to play. This knowledge also supports the characteristics of effective learning, how children learn how to learn. Then finally, as an owner manager, I quickly learned that individual educators' skills and aptitude about keeping records are annoyingly different. To combat this, Regular quality assurance exercises are important and that should be quick and easy as management need to get on. Otherwise, equal opportunities for all children across your provision will lack. With the quality assurance information, because we should do more than nothing, we'll give insights in what to celebrate, to raise morale and where basic expectations are set or training needs identified for individuals, teams, or across the provisions. So standards are raised and kept high. What was your experience during your training? And what has working life taught you? I'd love to hear your story. Thanks for listening. 
Oh, don't forget to grab the booklet. It's a quick read and the link is down there or in the bio if you're on Insta. Bye for now. Thank you.